Hi YouTube, this is Trisha, and this is my new channel. I have an older channel. Um, it's a lifestyle channel that I started years ago. I haven't really done anything much with it. I post every now and then. It's called Trish Avery. But this channel I decided to start uh, to journey or to create a video journal of my transition from an advisor at a junior college, a community college, to a public school teacher. So I actually have taken my certification test and I have passed and I will begin August of this year. Um, but what happened was I, did, I work with the grant. I'm an advisor with the grant at the community college and the grant was ending uh, in February, but we did get an extension, but I thought it was ending in February. So I started applying for um, paraprofessional positions and substitute teacher positions uh, in the public school systems at different in different ISDs and I was um, interviewed for a paraprofessional in the I guess it's a detention classroom and uh, I was hired they offered me the position but while I was doing that I was also studying to take my exam I did take my exam the very next week and I passed, so I called or the Human Resource Department let them know that um, my journey has changed and I was no longer looking for a pair of professional position, I was looking for a teacher position. I was hoping that, you know, sometimes there are teachers who leave the second semester and I was hoping to get a position because, you know, classes, my grant was supposed to end in February. Uh, but I did end up getting a position after being interviewed and hired for the paraprofessional position, I um, called the human resource person and let them know that I would not be taking that position since I was transitioning. I also sent an email to the principal letting them know, you know, what was going on and why I declined the offer and that I was looking for a teacher position. So after she received that email, the very next day she called me and asked if I would be interested in a second grade teacher position that was becoming available in August. And I found out later uh, that the vice principals that I spoke with during the paraprofessional interview recommended me for the teacher position so I was very grateful for that and uh, during the interview of that well the sit down that I had with the principal that following Monday um, I brought my teacher portfolio that I had of course I have not had any teaching experience per se I've done studying about 10 years ago and I also subbed for ESL classes at the community college when the instructors could make it. But I didn't have a portfolio with any lesson plans that I've actually done or you know, given to the students myself. So I did have a sample lesson plan and I was prepared to teach it. But um, that was it. I asked her at the end of that sit down that I had with her uh, if I was selected to continue what I need to be prepared to teach the lesson. And she said, you know, really that was basically all of it I wasn't didn't need to meet with another panel or anything like that because the VPs represented um, they recommended me for the position and she was satisfied with that so I did receive a, an official offer and I accepted and once I've accepted I start I became obsessed with learning everything I need to know because I you know I want to make sure I'm prepared so I start watching all the YouTube channels a pocket full of primary Letter Classroom, Classroom Diva, there is a Smarty something or other, I can't remember, a Miss May, Mr. Thane, and a variety of others, but those are the ones that I remember off the top of my head. And I've also started making lists, and I've also started collecting things, and I've heard that you need baskets upon baskets upon baskets, storage items. So I've become a little obsessed, so I'm just going to show you so this won't get too long. I'm going to show you what I've collected so far, and I think I need to stop because I have not seen the classroom yet. I don't start till August. It's May. They haven't finished. I've signed all of my paperwork, but they said they were going to hold it until closer to the summer before they finish processing everything. Everything's signed. I've turned in everything they need. They just need to submit it so I can get my official ID, email, etc., whatever, and with the district. But everything else, the, the principal has already placed me on their roster at the school, at the elementary school. So I'm just waiting for the HR to finish what they need to do. And I'm going to show you what I've collected and I do need to stop. I've become obsessed because I don't know what's going to be left behind from a previous teacher. So I'm going to stop here, but I'm going to show you what I have. 
and I'm rambling. I'm just going to show you. Hold on. And this is in my dining room. And I know my husband's going nuts with all this stuff being everywhere. We, can, we, we usually eat in front of the TV anyway. That's how we, you've all had big families. Anyway, you don't want to know that. <laughs> These baskets I bought at Walmart for three for 99 cents. And I have the, also the larger ones that I bought for two for 99, 97 cents, I'm sorry. And some of these things I have from my job when I change offices, the stuff from my job, the pink stuff from my job. These are little bins for 99 cents. Um, this is what I'm most proud of. I love books. I love the idea of a reading nook. So I've started collecting library books. And again, I don't know what the previous teacher is gonna leave behind, so I'm gonna stop. But these uh, at a thrift store near me called Northwest Assistant Ministries, or NAM, they have a buy one, get one free day. And their books don't cost that much. Children's books are like 25 cents, 50 cents, and a dollar, depending on the size and if they're hardback or paperback. These are audiobooks that I found. I thought would be great. Uh, these other books, I mean, I have so many different kinds of books, 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 and books. And I think I'm going to stop. I don't want to be overloaded or overwhelmed. Uh, this is my Erin Condren planner that I bought. I saw on several YouTube videos that people had those and thought they were great. I'll do a separate video on that. After I purchased that, I did remember that I, when I homeschooled my kids, I bought a lesson planner. And it's, of course, it's not as detailed and it's not as nice as the Erin Condren planner, but it does have a lot of good information and good good sections in there. This is a scrapbook that I found at the thrift store. I said I might save that for maybe a prize or something since I need to get that out of my house. This I found. I'm a Minions obsessed. Of course, I want a space theme because I love Star Trek and I want to be true to myself. I want a theme classroom. And I thought science fiction and Star Trek, but then I thought these second graders are not going to know what Star Trek is. So I'm just doing a space alien kind of thing, trying to make it fun. And this I found at the thrift store and I found the sandwich container at the dollar store. So I got that and I'm just going to use that for my lunch. And that I had for my homeschool. This footrest I bought from Amazon.com for my office, and I just when I moved offices. I just took that out. That footrest my godson bought me, and I might take that. Maybe not. The colors are the same because I plan to do like blue and teal. This is a storage unit that I purchased from Lowe's, and it just has a few things in there so far. Not a lot. And I haven't filled it up very much but and i purchased labels from teacherspayteachers.com i just haven't printed them out i have more storage containers here the alien buckets some more bins some caddies for the tables that chalk i have a couple of containers of chalk that i bought from the thrift store some dry erase boards some nesting bins. There are two other bins inside of that bin. And there's some more little trash cans and storage bins there. And these, because I'm fascinated with the book nook or the little library areas that they have in the classroom. And I hope there will be space for it in whatever classroom I'm in. So I bought these little stuffed animals for their reading buddies. If they don't have one for me to. And these are all stocked with storage with uh, supplies as well. And I know I told you I was obsessed and was getting a little carried away. I'm a coffee holic, so it's had a little Star Wars themed coffee mug, more pencils, pops of this, more storage. And you know, there are other things down there. I can't open it all the way. <laughs> but yes, if I'm doing space and all that, this is a solar system. I plan to hang those from the ceiling. And there's another box back there I had for my, I mean, there's another drawer down there as well with stuff in it. And there's another storage box that I had when I homeschooled my kids. It's a box and then the drawers themselves are enclosed boxes. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Then, like I said, I, I did become obsessed a little bit. So in order for this not to be too long, I'm going to end it here. And hopefully I will be able to do another video on the Erin Condren Planner. 
And also my teacher portfolio is over here as well. And that's, if you want to see that, I will. I mean, it doesn't have a whole lot of things in it because as I said, I'm not a teacher yet. But if you want to see what I have in my portfolio, just let me know. And I will be uploading a video for the Erin Condren Planner as well. But I think that is it for now. But I hope you will follow along on my journey to becoming a second grade teacher. And I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.